Hi, this is Prakash and I make video on smart home tech and new gadgets useful for your home needs. Today we are talking about probably one of the best 2.5G switches created for a home user needs. And yes, it doesn't cost arm and a leg. I have been looking for this combination for a while. Now just to be clear, this company is new and making all different kind of switches. It's from China. But they know the market and they created this unique combination which is gonna be perfectly suited for my home needs and most probably your home needs if you're looking to upgrade your switches right now. Each port is gonna cost you about 10 bucks and on top of that if you buy it today and tomorrow AliExpress has a promotion going on which is gonna give you about uh, $15 back so it can cost you only 78 bucks. Link is there in the description and this is not an affiliate link. So please uh, feel free to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. So let's take a look at the typical features and home user needs met by this switch. About $100, that was my criteria. 10G of uplinks. The switch has eight 2.5G ports and that was crucial to me because if you look in the market currently, there are either five 2.5G ports are there or eight 2.5G ports are there. If there are eight 2.5G ports, then there is no uplink port for 10 gig, which means you, even though you connect your NAS for 2.5G ports, four of them, you still uplink is limited to 2.5 gigs. So you're not gonna get benefit of connecting so many 2.5G ports. Now there, there are switch available which are five ports uh, for 2.5G and then 10G uplinks are available. But then uh, there are, if you're connecting one big NAS or two small machines, you're, you're kind of consuming eight of the 2.5G ports, right? So five ports, it's okay, but it was not like the best solution to meet my needs. Now, another consideration I has that I wanted to buy uh, 2.5G ports only for RJ45 because there was another option that one could buy a 10 gig SFP plus ports, uh, you know, switch. One, one is available by TP Link, which has, I think, eight ports and all of them are 10 gig, but negotiate down to 2.5 as well as, you know, one gig. So that could be a solution, but in that case, uh, I'll have to buy different cables, right? FSFP plus to normal RJ45 cable, and that costs a lot. So idea was simple, that this has to be RJ45 ports, connect to the switch, so we can use the cheap, simple RJ45 cables. And it's unmanaged. So let's, let's do unboxing. unboxing. That's how the switch looks. Here you can see eight ports, and then we have this 10 gig SFP plus port. Now this is 12 volt power adapter, which comes with it. The wheel is good, it's not plastic. Yeah, you can see, it's not plastic. Good. No fan, you can mount it if you need to. Let's connect it up. At this point, you can see adding first SFP plus connection to the uplink port to uh, my 10 gig switch, plus one 2.5G port connected to one of my mini PCs, uh, resulting in almost uh, less than a watt addition of uh, power. Under three watt, a switch which is running, if you're just using minimal, it's, it's damn good. Look. So we are on the screen. You can see the two windows. One is uh, one of the Proxmox server. Another is another one. What we are trying to do is to test the connectivity between them. And as you can see, uh, this server is already listening. And uh, right now it's using uh, one gig port, the old one. And then once the test is done, we will just switch the port and run the same test again. Okay, so the test is completed. You could see the connection is 1.11942 gigabits. Pretty much one gig of connection is there. So now let's switch and test again. So I've changed the network and you can see the moment I connected the network, the power went to 2.6, 2.8. That's what I was expecting. Let's run the same test again. 
there is a considerable increase in the bandwidth 2.35 gigabits is what you're getting darn good it's almost two and a half times even with the load there is no change in the wattage it's consuming so with the load it's still taking under three watts that's amazing I mean, so in this example what i changed is i connected three of the computers to see how the power draw increase and as you can see with three 2.5g ports in use plus 10 gig uplink port it's taking about four watt of power which is super cool and now this test will be between two computers which are connected on the same switch so we can see if you're running that switch is there an increase in the power draw or not power draw is ranging between uh, about same it's not changing much even with the the usage is uh, increasing so that's good and the test completed exactly similar performance 2.35 gigabits now let's take a look at the product uh, this is what it is links are there uh, in the description they are not affiliate links so make sure to like the video and subscribe the video switch cost is about 91 dollar right now this is a good discounted price and nine port as we looked into it this is the sfp port anniversary sale is going on so that so if you just buy this this switch you will be saving 15 dollars out of it so that makes it 70 dollar plus if you buy say two switches or some other product then you can get one more promotion applied to your deal which is hbd 20 which takes 20 dollar off to 120 dollar we are really excited <laughs> 40 dollar off to 20 so that i used this one to purchase some of the stuff and uh, i think this was a great deal the, the price was way less than you would pay for it. They have a two-year uh, warranty and a lifetime professional technical support. So to wrap up, uh, this is your basic low-cost switch, right? It costs you less than $7 a port if you buy right now with the promotions available. Um, use less than two watt idle, even if you connect uh, three, four ports with SFP plus ports, it's taking four watt idle. Really, really amazing very very power efficient fanless model um, probably which makes this combination as you know the cheapest 2.5 g switch you can buy in the market right now you may ask what's the cash right i mean it's a new company frankly um, you don't know how the product will behave in the long run there is no background and at least i'm aware of i heard this name first time that's something to be look into it uh, but as far as so far things look like it's it's pretty fanless device working well performance wise very stable so far company provide two years of warranty so so this is not an affiliate product review i mean i paid from my own pocket if this content was useful please like it and if you like to see video like these please subscribe and share with your friends really really appreciate you watching this thank you